would say to you that this month is a month where I am superseding your senses this hour. And the Lord says this is a month where I am calling you to come to a place that you've never been before. And the Lord says this is the month where I will visit you greatly with angelic help, says the Spirit of the Lord. And the Lord says that I am getting out of your mind and I am processing, I am processing through your thought process this hour. For many of you have said that this is the time where I will lay in rest. When the Lord is saying this is a time to rise and to war for your promise. The Lord says I have strategies. Yes, I have many strategies that are downloaded to you this hour. Be cautious of your dreams. Be cautious of your visions this hour. For I will visit my people with spiritual things. For there are spiritual hosts you've never seen before. And there are types of angels you've never even recognized. But the Lord is saying the time is right for the, for the unknown to come into place. The time is now for the unknown to come into place. I say don't frustrate my unknown. But believe in what I will do this hour, says the Spirit of the Lord. And expect it. Expect God to come forth and do for you what you don't think he can. Recently, the Lord, and I've been holding this, but recently there were two incidences that just show this so beautifully. I go out to the car to go to a, um, a meeting, and the car goes, yeah, yeah, nothing. And so I came in the house, and I danced around, and I said, Father, thank you so much how you're going to bless me. <laughs> You've already prepared the way. I called AAA, sent a guy out. He says, well, gosh, your, your warranty is out. I said, I don't think that's the last one. He looks up again. He said, whoop, yep, there is one. Puts in a new battery. Doesn't cost me a dime. Hallelujah. You expect it. Then, this is, the, this is really great. I'm up on my ladder, my six-foot ladder in the closet, changing out the clothes, and... On the way up or down, I don't really remember which it was, but I missed the last step. So I came down about a good three feet with hands full of clothes. And on the way down, I got this big grin on my face. And I said, Father, you take such good care of me. Thank you for this. And man, I hit the floor on this hip and it hurt. And I started laughing. And I laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed and got up. The next morning, I did not even have a bruise. I should have had a bruise because it was a hard hit. But this is what the Lord is saying. He says, if you'll praise me on the way down, if you'll expect, expect me to come through, I will do it for you. Good. Now, Adar is the last month in God's yearly cycle of life. The cycle began with the first month of Nisan with the spring feast, Passover, unleavened bread, and first fruits. Then in the third month of Sivan, there was Pentecost. In the seventh month, which was Tishri, there were the fall feasts, tabernacles, the Day of Atonement, the Feast of Trumpets. And by the time we get around to Adar, we're just about ready to start the cycle all over again. Now, in our calendar, Adar usually begins in February and spills over into March. Now, the Jews believe that Adar is a month to celebrate. So tell your neighbor, get ready to celebrate. As a matter of fact, it's a month to leap for joy. Adar is the month of Purim, as Chuck said. Uh, the Feast of Purim is on the 14th day of Adar, and we're going to be celebrating Purim in a few weeks. Purim was a time to celebrate that your curse is overturned and that the door to your destiny is open. Because at Purim, the Jews face certain death. But even before the curse was pronounced against them, God had made a way for the Jews to be saved. 
God raised up a young Jewish girl named Esther and made her the queen of the Persian Empire. And when a decree of destruction came, Esther was already positioned to stand against it. And at Purim, Esther revealed her true identity. And when she did, God gave her favor with the king and the Jews were spared. So Adar is a month for your identity to be revealed. God has an identity for you. Your true identity is linked to the invisible realm, not the natural. So discover your identity in the spiritual realm this month. Learn who you are in the Lord. Get to know your spiritual gifts. Discover the prophetic words over your life and start moving forward into your destiny. Now, if Adar is the month of Purim, that means it's a, it's a month where we need to, take, to gain the favor of the king. That's what Purim was all about. This is a month to overturn every curse. This is a time to move forward into your future, and it's a time to enter in to joy. 